I have just explained to you that uh, we could work with different shells using graphical user interface applications called terminals. And at this Mac computer I am using iTerm2 application and in those different tabs I am connected to two different shells of Linux computer. Here is Bash shell and here is CH shell. And now in this lecture let me first show you how you are able to get information about specific shell that is currently being used. And next I will show you some additional commands that will give you some information about Linux computer that you are currently in. So, if you enter command echo dollar sign shell and press enter, you'll get following response. In my case, I am running now bash shell. I am connected now to bash shell process inside of the Ubuntu Linux computer. And what is bin, I'll explain you a bit later. Let me enter the same command in another tab where I have started ch shell echo dollar sign shell. I got for some reason empty output. Let me try alternative command echo dollar sign zero. And now I get response ch. And that means that now I am running ch shell in this terminal window. And please notice that there is already a difference between interpretation of the same command echo dollar sign shell here in this ch shell and here in this bash shell. Here we even don't get result or result wasn't correctly recognized. Alright, let's proceed and uh, now let me enter some additional commands that you are able to use in order to get information about specific Linux computer you are currently in. First command is uname. And if I'll simply type uname, I get the uh, answer Linux. There are additional options you are able to use with this command. For example, uname-a. With this command you are able to get uh, additional information about Linux computer like host name and version. Also, you are able to use other option dash r. With this option, you'll get information about Linux kernel. It is version 4.19.76 Linux kit. In your case, you could get another version, of course, on another computer. Let me quickly switch to Ubuntu computer. It is basically virtual machine that is running on my macOS computer. And let me open up terminal here. And first, let me use echo command echo dollar sign shell in order to verify which shell is being used right now. And here I see same result as here inside of the container. It means that here I am also connected to bash shell. And next let me enter uname-a. I see that I am using Linux Ubuntu. Here is version. And you could get kernel version using separate option uname-r. And actually you get same result as is included here in this output. And of course version of this kernel differs from version of the kernel here inside of this Linux container. Alright, that's how you are able to get version about specific software installed on specific Linux computer. Next let me enter for example uptime command. And here in this output you see current time and the total uptime of this server. Also you see quantity of currently locked in users, but we are actually locked in as root user and this root connection is not counted as user connection. That's why here I see zero users. And also you see here load average of this server. And at the moment there is no load and that's why here you see all zeros. Great. Let me also enter additional option here with uptime command and this option is dash p. Pretty. And it will pretty print this result and I see that uptime of this server is 21 hours 41 minutes. Great, but you may ask me a question, why this time is so huge, we have just started this container. That means that before this container was actually stored as a snapshot in the image and before this container was running on some other computer. That's why here you see such large uptime. Let me switch to another computer here and type uh, same command uptime dash p. I get that uptime of this virtual machine is 12 hours. Great. That is next command you are able to use. Next one. Let me quickly clear terminal. And for that you could use key combination command key or control key on Windows or type clear command. And it will clear output like this. Let's enter command w. This command shows which users are currently logged in to Linux server. Let me enter same command here, W, 
and I see that user with username Bogdan is currently logged in to this computer. All right, that's how you're able to get basic information about computer you are currently in. Next, let me explain you why we are actually able to enter such commands as ls, cd, and so on, and how shell actually understands that specific sequence of characters is actually a command. Let me explain you that in the next lecture. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.